I genuinely believe dunking is simplified down to only three core principles. Three core principles. That's all you need to know to be able to do whatever dunk you possibly dreamed of. Imagine your dream dunk. You can do that if you listen to this, bro. So the first thing is jump mindset. I promise you, bro. Mindset goes first because this is everything. This is the most important thing. This is me when I was 16 years old. If you are not willing to miss, bro, you will never be able to make. You can't make without missing a ton of dunks, without missing hundreds more dunks than you'll ever make. But I promise you, the best still fail. And I promise you, even though the best fail right now, they had to fail so much more before they got to the point they were. So even the pros still fail, but you think they didn't fail as kids? No, they failed 10 times more. So be willing to fail, bro. Have the right jump mindset. Be okay with missing, because everyone does. And once you understand that, bro, you can understand. That's the first core principle. There's only three. That's jump mindset. Then you need jump technique. This is Jordan Kilgannon. So as you saw in the last video, I jumped left, right. I'm a two foot jumper, left, right, just like Jordan Kilgannon. And I understood he was the best pro. And so I wanted to copy him. So I looked at the way he jumped and I recorded the way I jumped and I would make the way I jumped more like the way he jumped because he jumped like me. And so there's somebody that jumps like you. I'm going to show you in one second exactly someone you can copy, bro. But there's someone that jumps like you. And so what you need to do is copy them just like I did. So now this is me at 23. I did behind the back just last week. But I've been able to do it since I was 17. And this is all from jump technique, bro. I've been able to do this for years because of jump technique. So anyone can do this, bro. It's literally a cheat code because I'm not supposed to be able to do this stuff. This is a hack. Jump technique is a hack. So you're going to record yourself. And then copy the pro like Jordan Kilgannon. But if you're not a left right jumper, you're not going to copy Jordan Kilgannon. If you're a one foot jumper, you may copy one foot God, Jordan Sutherland or Zach Levine or something like that. Or if you're a right left jumper, you might copy Anthony Edwards or someone like that. There's a lot of dunkers out there for every jump plant. And obviously there's the other one foot plant, which could be like if you're left handed. So James Harden or something. So record yourself, copy them. Bro, you're going to have the right jump mindset and you're going to have the right jump technique. So you're already like 90% of the way there, bro. Cause the last thing, and this is important too, but it's jump training, jump mindset, jump technique, jump training. That's all you need to dunk. And so what is jump training? Well, there's, this is so simple, bro. There's literally only two different types of jump training, strength training, and then plyometrics, strength training and plyometrics. So regardless, you're going to be doing one of these two things. Now what's better? Well, if you're a younger kid, plyometrics is probably the best thing to do. But if you're 15, you're starting to get older and you want to get more strength, you cannot substitute the weight room. There's no substitute for moving weights. Do you want to know why? Because when you do a lift like this, this is a strength training exercise. When you do that lift to, to push that weight up, you're literally breaking down your muscles. You're literally breaking down your body so that it can recover, grow back stronger. Therefore, you can be stronger and therefore you can jump higher. So that's how lifting works, bro. So at the end of the day, you can only get so far without putting immense strain on your body with weights. And it doesn't need to be five plates. You don't need to work your way up to seven plates. You can get better with one plate for now. 25 pounds, two plates. You can work your way up, bro. It, this takes time. You got to build that strength. It's not about what anyone else is doing. It's about what you're doing. So strength training. There's a bunch of different strength training exercises you could do, but squats is like the best exercise I could give you if I had to give you a best. There's no real best. So you're going to do strength training, but you're also going to do plyometrics. So this is a depth jump. This is a great plyometric to do because the goal of plyometrics is to explode the second you touch the ground as high as you possibly can. It's to develop that fast twitch muscle fiber. So as you can see, you touch the ground, boom, up right there, just like a jump. And the thing is, just jumping, practicing dunking, low rim dunking, jumping as high as you can, that's plyometrics. So when you go out there and you have a dunk session, you're doing plyometrics. So that's, it, it fits in the plyometric category. So once again, strength training and plyometrics. You don't need anything else other than that in order to jump as high as you want to jump. Bro, if you have the right jump technique, if you have the right jump mindset, if you have the right jump training, bro, you will be able to dunk. So if you want this workout, bro, it's in the bio right now. Go do this workout. It will help you jump higher right now. This is a plyometric workout. So this is not strength training. It's not a substitute for weights. But if you're a younger kid or you're an athlete who wants to try a plyometric workout and just go do something right now, go do this right now, bro. But just remember, you will be able to dunk and you can dunk. I promise you, you can do whatever dunk you dream of. You just need the right jump mindset. Be willing to miss. You need the right jump technique. Find your dominant plant and find someone who jumps the same way as you and copy them. And you just need the right jump training, either strength training or plyometrics. If you combine those three core principles, you will be an elite dunker. You will be like a pro dunker. 
So hit the subscribe button, like this video if it helped. Don't, don't like it if it helped, but dislike this video if it didn't help you. Seriously, I only want to put videos out that are helping you guys. But I will see y'all tomorrow. I'm posting videos about dunking every single day for a year. So might as well follow along.